Hi everyone. So now we're going to do a problem called surrounded regions. It's another graph problem. So if you are interested in learning about how to best prepare for an algorithm interview, take a look at the link below in the description where I have a free video where I explain the best resources that I use to get into Microsoft that will help you study better, more efficiently, and uh, save up time. So without further ado, let's take a look at today's problem. We're going to look at surrounded regions from LeetCode. So this problem is, is a graph problem. So we basically have a 2D array and you want to change the, the O's, so that's uppercase O, uh, to X, but you don't want to change it to you don't want to change the, the O's from the edges. So if you look here, uh, if you look at the second picture, this circle here is, uh, this O is not painted as an X. So what is the issue here? The issue here is uh, as you're changing, you need some sort of intermediate state for the edges because as so so when you're traversing the 2d grid and you look at uh, uh, oh how do you know that it's connected to the edge or not so we're gonna basically do a two-step process we're gonna do a, a that first search on the o's that are connected to the edges and change it to an intermediate state. In my case, we're going to call it S. So if it's S, we know it's connected to the edge. Then we're going to look through the 2D grid, check for the O's. Uh, if it's still O, it means it's not going to get to the edge. We're going to change it to X. And then we're going to do a last reversal where we change S's. The S's are, again, are the ones that are connected to the edges back to O's. So that way we solve the problem effectively. So let's take a look at how that looks like. So we have a 2D grid with axes and O's. That's exactly, so I changed it a little bit. So I have uh, three O's that are connected to the edges. So these two, and this one is not directly connected to the edge, but it's connected to a O, which is connected to the edge. So that one we shouldn't paint as a s so we'll have a recursive function that follows uh the the same template we've been using with graph problems so we have a if statement checking if the conditions are valid if it's not valid we return we make so here we're changing from o to s so we're changing the o's connected to the edge to s and using recursion we're going to uh, explore all the surrounded cells connected to the edge. So the first step, so these two for loops, what we're basically doing is using that for search to uh, change O's that are connected to the edge to S. So this one is exploring the first column. This one is exploring the last column. This one is exploring the first row. This one is exploring the last row. So if it's connected to zero, we're going to recursively call explore. Explore is going to expand on all the cells that have a circle and it's going to fill up with an S. Then now that all the O's are, have been changed to an S, we change every O to an X. So we know these O's are not to connect to an edge because the ones that are, are, are an S now. And finally, we change all the S's back to O. So let's take a look at how that looks like in code. So let's put a breakpoint in paint and we're gonna explore step by step. So actually what I wanna take a look at, so as you can see, we only have an O here at the last, in the last row. And that should be here. So num rows. So that's where we're going to put our breakpoint. So we're going to continue. And as you can see, 
we haven't we still haven't changed anything because there are no alls connected to the edge except at the last row so let's step so now that we have x equals to, we have uh, j so our j is one our i is three so that's this first all so we're going to now call explore so explore will change this cell to an s and then it's gonna change the next cell to an x so now the next cell is gonna be s and after we are done with that loop this one should be an s as well so let me put a breakpoint here and now if you look at the cells the three cells that are connected to the edge are now s so when we traverse again we know we shouldn't change it to x but this one should be uh changed to x so we do a nested for loop and if you see uh, oh we just change it to x so if we continue now you can see that that cell got changed to an x and finally what we do is change all s's back to a o Oops, let me remove this breakpoint. So now all the S's are back to O. So we finally accomplished the job. So all the O's that were connected to the edges stayed as O, so we needed that intermediate step. The ones that were not were turning to axes, so the problem is solved. So if you liked this problem, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and get your free video where I explain how to better study for algorithms on the description. See you on the next video.